Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with Dincom game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. So go to the start menu, click on the power icon, then click on restart. After the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to delete the save game files. Now, once you delete the save game files, you will lose all the data, all the game progress. So if you want, you can delete the save game files and then launch the game. So for this, open File Explorer on computer and then go to this PC, open C drive. Now open Users folder. Now open your username folder and then open App Data folder. Now if you don't see App Data fo folder in Windows 10, somewhere over here, you will find View tab. Click on View and then put a check on the box which says Hidden Items. In Windows 11, you will see View over, over here. So click on it, then select Show and then put a check on Hidden Items and then open App Data folder. Now open the local low folder. Now open James James Benden folder. Over here you can see the Dincom folder. Make a right click and then click on delete. Once this is deleted, now launch the game. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. On NVIDIA website, select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search scroll down over here you can see geforce game ready driver this is the latest one right now so click on get download click on download now now once the download is complete run the exe file and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next now let the installation complete now after the installation your driver should be up to date now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings Now click on browse, go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, then open program files x86. Now open the steam folder. Now open steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here you will find the game file. In my case, it's in E drive. So open the steam folder, steam library, steam apps, and then common. Now over here you can see the Dincom folder, open this folder, select the game exe file over here and then click on add. Now once the game is added, click on options, select high performance and then click on save. Now launch the game. Next step is to verify the game file. For this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. After the verification, launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator. For this, make a right click on the game, select pro select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on game exe file, select properties, go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, then click on apply, okay. Now launch the game from here. So make a double click and then launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, then go to the start menu, click on settings. Now in Windows 11, click on privacy and security, then click on Windows security. In Windows 10, you will find update and security, click on update and security, then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down, click on manage ransomware protection and then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder once again. Steam, Steam apps, common. Open the game folder, select the game exe file, then click on open. Once the game is added over here, now launch the game. Now the next step is to disable Steam overlay. For this, make a right click on the game select properties, uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. 
also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord running close discord now if you have geforce experience running close geforce experience so close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi after burner running on the computer close msi after burner now if you have revert tuner running on the computer close revert tuner so close all the overlay application also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all now click on apply click on okay now restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 here you can see x86 and x64 version click on both the exe file and then install both the exe file that is x64 and x86 click on it now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow now run the second file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete now once the installation is complete restart your computer and then launch the game make sure both the installation is complete now over here you can see the restart option now restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to update your windows this is important so go to the start menu click on windows settings and then click on windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once the update is installed restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to disconnect multiple monitor so if you have multiple monitor set up disconnect multiple monitor and try launching the game on single monitor also unplug all the usb external devices so if you have these devices connected disconnected also if you have these softwares running close these software and then launch the game make sure only the steam and the game is running rest close everything also if you have undervolted your hardware remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to lower down graphics settings for this launch the game first go to options and then go to display now uncheck the full screen and then lower down the resolution so if it is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p or you can even lower down more and then click on apply and if graphic is set to high you can select medium or you can even try low now check the performance now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so go to steam make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to different drive so if you have another ssd or hdd try installing the game to another drive and then check so one of the steps should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel